Um, do you find opportune cause? Do you have a preference? Do you know what? Sometimes one proves to be an antidote to the other. Yeah, and when we've had it up to you as politicians, yeah. you then move to the royals. And then when we've had it up to you as royals, you go back up to politicians. So really, everyone's a winner. And did you get nice pastries in the royal entourage? No, actually, you get nice biscuits when you go to royal Bridgeport. Oh, so you don't get nice. nice political ones. Oh, really? No. Unless it's election time. Well, sometimes we're not even there. Ah. Uh, now you start out as a print journalist, you were a sketch writer on the Independent, and then you went into broadcast journalism. What was the what was the allure? What took you there? Well, I spent most of my early life childhood dreaming of being a free speech journalist, and that's what I desperately wanted to do. And I did that in the Independent newspaper, where the paper was was a unique, fantastic experience. And after a few years of that. Um, some of the BBC came along and said, what about this? What about being a politico for BBC News? And it seemed so scary that I thought, having decided to stay, I couldn't possibly not do it. Not, yeah. And so I went to it thinking I'd leave after two years, and that was 27 years ago. Very good. Well, John, here we return our attention to our quarters of flags. What's catching your eye? Okay. Um, I'm also going to aim for obvious, or it seems to be. Obvious at the moment, so I'm going to say Croatia. Croatia, says John. Let's see how many of our 100 people agree with John and spotted Croatia there. Croatia is right 